welcome back to the channel. We are going to do something super fun today with the chicken. So come along with us as we go carve some pumpkins with the chicken. My husband and I traveled to this great farmer's market roadside stand to pick some great pumpkins for this project. And they had the coolest little guy out here waving us in. So of course we had to stop and check it out. They also had this really cool pumpkin tree that I thought was amazing design. It took me a little bit of time to pick the most perfect pumpkin because I wanted to make sure that they didn't have a bunch of really weird wax on them. I wanted to make sure they were good quality pumpkins. And this is the one that I absolutely loved. And I love this one. I could have bought pumpkins for days, but here we go. We better get moving. These here are gourds, and I'm not really sure if they would carve out the same or not. I just thought they were really cool. I like these little stacks, and I just thought I would share them with you because they're super unique. This little roadside stand had everything I consider to be fall. Mums, pumpkins, gourds, squash, pears, cabbage, and of course deer bait. These here are the four pumpkins that I decided to go with. Now I'm tasked with trying to figure out what I want them to carve. So taking a pencil or a marker, you're going to want to make a outline, if you will, so that you know exactly how you want to cut around to kind of shear off the top layer of the pumpkin. You're just basically removing the skin of the pumpkin so that they can get to the meat. If the skin remains intact, sometimes they'll peck it, but most of the time they won't unless there's an injury to the skin that reveals that nice meaty texture underneath. Now you want to be careful in this portion here so you don't cut yourself. In this step, once you have made your lines and you've decided where you want to cut, please be careful. Use a knife cautiously. That Sometimes that skin is really tough and uh, pressing against it and uh, having it kind of fly away from you, it's not really safe. So be really careful and mindful of where your knife is at all times. Please do not allow your small children to use a sharp knife. It, this is something that you want to do for them. After you score the skin of the pumpkin, it reveals this beautiful yellow meat inside. The yellow meat is what they really love, and they really love the seeds. So once they get through the yellow meat, they will end up in the seeds, in the guts, if you will, and they will have a blast in there. I tried using a few different tools for this, but uh, so far the knife has been the easiest. This uh, potato peeler I was using, not great. Here is pumpkin number two. Now that I've got the pumpkin just how I want it, and I've got it all sheared off there so that they can get to the meat of the pumpkin. It's time to give it to them. Once you give them this pumpkin, they may not run right over to it like they absolutely love it because they're a little scared of it. It's something new in their area. Give them a little bit of time and you will see that they do love this project. I do have two turkeys, Tom and Tina, and they do love the pumpkin just as much, if not more, as the chickens. Now here's day two. As you can see, they figured out that this is a delicious treat that I'm offering. Got this one a little bit dirty because they've been scratching around. And the other one, they've got it opened up so that they can get to the seeds inside and the guts, if you will. 
And here was the last day I let them have it. They destroyed the one, which is fine. It's their pumpkin. And the other one, I think they did a pretty good job on, but I took it away before they destroyed that one too. That's a wrap. We had a great time. The chickens loved it. They're able to eat out all those pumpkins and eat the pumpkin seeds. And I just let them destroy them because they're having a blast. And that's what Halloween's all about, is having fun with your chickens. So please go to your local farmer's market, pick up some pumpkins, score the front of them, and let the chickens have a blast. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. And it brings you along on my journey of teaching you everything I know about dogs, cats, kittens, and chickens. I have this really fun one right here where they eat a gingerbread house from last Christmas. Check it out. It's pretty cute. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Remember, I'm here for you. You're here for your pet. Have a great day.